Thank you. Uh, my topic of focus on uh, Chinese women's families the status. I will not talk about uh, political or economics. I will talk about uh, the families. Uh, earlier, uh, Professor Cho uh, offered you uh, a pure beef barbecue black Korean food. And uh, Professor Chen provides a mixed Korean food from uh, non Korea. Uh, professors. I'm planning to uh, offer the Peking duck, but unfortunately the time is limited, so uh, I will just offer the Chinese tea. I will uh, maintain uh, the time limited. So uh, actually my study is a little different from uh, two uh, uh, earlier speakers. I uh, found some empirical studies by using uh, surveys. So this study, uh, what we look, uh, we use uh, the Chinese women's status surveys for uh, uh, two, uh, two periods, 1990, 2000, and 2010. So uh, my, uh, uh, that's uh, the outline of my presentations. I mainly will we'll focus on the, the part five, the major findings. Before, uh, why we did these studies, and uh, even uh, 30 years ago, there would be a famous statement uh, came from uh, Chen Lun Mo. He said, uh, women hold half the sky, men half and uh, women half. So uh, I think uh, since 1949, the foundation of People's Republic of China and the women's rights has improved. And you can see those uh, two figures, major figures. The bachelor degrees students are female, 50, more than 50, more than men. And also 51 are uh, professional technicians, are female, based on the population census in 2010. And then uh, you look at uh, the, the economic status of Chinese women. And uh, this the, the left uh, figure so uh, labor participation rate by early night rule and also by genders in 2010. And uh, you can see uh, some difference uh, between the early and the rural. But still, compared with Korean women or Japanese women in Asia, Northeast Asian, Chinese women uh, participate in the economic mix. Uh, much higher than Korea and, and Japan. However, if you look at the former labor participants read by uh, a two periods research service, 2020, to, uh, 2000 and 2010, you can see there will be slight difference. And uh, uh, for female, not only for rural or urban, they are participate in economics will postpone because they will go to the high school or college and then to find work. However, my, uh, my, this paper we were talking about uh, domestic uh, division, uh, division of laborers. Uh, we will look at uh, women's satisfaction of family status as uh, based on the service. And also we look at uh, the functions, like uh, domestic decision-making powers, how husband or wife will make decision about uh, domestic uh, uh, matters, and also uh, how many, how long they will input input in the domestic labor time, and uh, the earlier also we have the literatures. The early, for based on the Western, there will be relative results perspective based on the early research. And that uh, suggests the individual's authority or power before marriage could be uh, influenced how there will be uh, work, the role of husband or wife within the families. And uh, for example, if the husband's family 
background is a little higher than the white, or could be a, a fact. There are uh, decision making and also the labor time within the families. But the function theory say uh, the division of labor or distribution power and status are the result of function of families. It will be based on like a Chinese, it will be traditional, it's not like a Western country. They will, uh, based on the distribution of the uh, division of the labor between the husband and the wife. And then uh, this uh, study, we use uh, the service to uh, investigate the dynamic change and the trends in domestic decision making power and also domestic labor time in the past two decades. And also uh, we use uh, the models uh, to see uh, what factor will be the fact the satisfaction of family status for females and also what time uh, what factors that affect domestic decision making power and domestic labor time. This is of three uh, dimensions we were talking about in terms of family status. One is decision making powers. And uh, the questionnaire we will ask, we will look at. And then we also ask how much time the husband and wife will be input the domestic labor time. And uh, the, the, the third dimension will be a subjective index, the self-evaluate level of satisfaction for uh, women. So that's uh, three uh, dimensions. And then uh, if we look at the data and the mass knowledge, and the dependent variable in my research could be three. And like the uh, first one is whether or not a woman has domestic decision making powers. And uh, there will be uh, respondents, like uh, husbands will be dominant, or wife, or maybe joint venture, same. And we call in like the uh, dominant variables. Yes, then the husband will be one, and two or three will be, uh, no, uh, the husband dominant will be zero, and then wife or joint, when joint uh, decision will be yes. And also we ask a uh, woman's domestic labor time. That will be uh, how many minutes you will input before the day of the interview. And the third will be a uh, dependent variable is woman's satisfaction level of their family status. So the three variables we will look at. And we will also use three uh, uh, models. And then let's we look at the uh, dynamic change. This is so a uh, decision for engaging type of agricultural product uh, business and also housing choice, building house and decision housing of the daily expenditures. So uh, when you're talking about the decision making, there'll be a difference. It depends on what kind of decisions, whether you buy a house or you buy an automobile or maybe uh, the daily expenditures. So uh, if you like, the, the pattern will be uh, almost the same. Most Chinese family will be uh, dominant with joint decision, same, similar between a husband and a wife. But there will be slight difference. For example, like uh, uh, if we buy the, the houses, you see a husband will be uh, more or less um, high percentage than why? Uh, here. So uh, there will be a, a, a old thing when we're talking about decision between the husband and wife. Sometimes in Chinese context, the husband decide whether the family will buy the automobile, but the wife will decide what kind of color the, the automobile be. So the decision, the degree will be different. And there will be other uh, uh, 
type of decisions like large production tools, investment on low, you, you can see the joint decision among more high and why normally would be lower. And also education, uh, care, uh, career choice of children's join will be dominant. So those are the data, the three surveys, so the dynamic change about uh, the decision making powers over the three, uh, two decades. Those are the summaries for the gender futures. Taking the joint decision seem to be a dominant presence between the husband and wife. And in how decisions are made in both rural and urban families. This may indicate the equality for husband and wife is major future uh, feature of family priority relations. And there are still there are some rural urban difference. There is a large difference between a rural and urban women in decision making uh, powers and family status. So that's we will say the authority of rural husband. If you live in rural, the men will be more dominant than uh, the women. So that's uh, based on the traditional uh, rule. And then uh, dynamic change will be so uh, uh, decision making pattern will move in towards equality between the husband and the wife. Men great decision making power regarding family decision, housing and the children education show the significant their power in the families. It depends on when you're talking about the decision making, you have to look at what kind of decisions. And also uh, women's great power with regard daily expenditures. And then we look at uh, the models. This is look at the factors that affect uh, domestic decision making powers. So women with higher education not only have, not only have better dispositions, although they also have strong awareness of gender equalities because they are they graduate maybe high school or college. And also, this also represents the theory of resource uh, mentioned in the Western country. Wife's power in the family is correlated with the quality of resource uh, husband or wife uh, have before they marry. And economically independent women have more say in families. Uh, if they make more money. And this also, uh, uh, the overall, the domestic time in the past uh, 20 years, not only for men, but also for women, is declined because uh, the, the number, the family size becomes shrink. Uh, Chinese dominant with the one child family. So not only wife, but also husband, the time the uh, input in domestic will be a uh, decline in terms of time. And uh, that will be gender change, gender difference, uh, and also urban and rural, there will be difference. And this will be a uh, look at the factors that affect women's daily domestic labor time. So whether or not a woman has a uh, gainful job, the job will be important in terms of how much time you input on the domestic labor time. So there is a substitution effect between the work and the household work. And also, when husbands contribute more than his wife, wife's labor time will be significant, higher than that of women. So that's, you can look at the significance. But also number of children is highly or positive related with women 
domestic labor time. If you have more two children, you have to uh, spend more time at home. And the last uh, model is the education. Not only a significantly affect rural women's satisfaction level of their family status, the higher education level of rural women has the high possibilities of a better satisfaction level of her family status. So uh, I forgot to mention, those women are all married women in the samples. And then also uh, regarding the relative authority or economic contributions within family, women in both rural and urban areas are less likely to satisfy with family status if their husband has more authorities. So uh, there will be a, also a, a trade-off between a wife and a husband in terms of authorities. And a woman with control over their own property are, on the average are more likely to have liable satisfactions. Then the last uh, part. Uh, we have a uh, full uh, conclusion in China. Uh, China shared decision making with family seem to be a prefer uh, patents, joint uh, decisions. And also extend both men and women's domestic labor time uh, has witnessed the decline in the two uh, decades. So having a paid job or time spent in a paid job is an important factor in affecting domestic labor time of women. And the last one, the married women's level of satisfaction with family status is their subjective judgment. In both rural and urban areas, women with control over the individual property are more likely to be satisfied with their family status. Also, the distribution of power within the family has a significant impact on women's satisfaction. Our satisfaction is the subjective index. So that provides the evidence to support the assumption of resource theories. So, so that's all my presentation. Thank you. 예, 안녕하세요. 어, 워낙은 이제 10분 주어진 토론 시간인데 5분으로 줄어들었으니까 생략하고 딱두 가지만 말씀드리겠습니다. 저는 이 여성의 아, 먼저 감사합니다. <웃음> 예, 중국 여성의 가족 내 지위에서 좀 사적인 측면을 다루고 있기 때문에 아마 우리가 쉽게 앞에서 한그 프레젠테이션보다 훨씬 이해가 더 쉽고 아주 좀 실제적인 그런 이야기라고 보여지고요. 그래서 이 중국 여성의 가사 노동을 시간을 보면서 아, 한국 여성은 과연 어떨까 하는 의문이 들어서 제가 좀 자료를 찾아봤어요. 그래서 최근에 통계청의 2015년 자료를 찾아보니까 29개국 나라에 대해서 어떤 나라에서 여성이 노동을 많이 하고 남편은 어떤가 이 가사 노동을 비교한 걸 보니까 1위가 인도였어요. 인도 인도에서 그 길기도 하고 또 남녀의 차이가 굉장히 컸고요. 한국은 그 중에서 한 7위 정도로 아주 굉장히 높아요. 그래서 그 시간을 좀 구체적으로 말씀드리면 남자가 하루에 45분을 하고요. 여성은 2시간 반. 그래서 거의 5, 5배 이상의 차이가 났다는 걸 보고 있고요. 그 선생님이 그 자료랑은 조금 틀리겠지만 그 요, 요 자료 통계청에서 나온 각국의 비교를 보면은 중국은 한 10위 정도로 해서 훨씬 여성이 적게 가사 노동하고 남편이 조금 더 많이 해서 성별 그 조금 더 평등한 걸로 나타났고 제일 1위는 어디냐 하면은 거의 남성의 차이가 없는 나라는 예상한 대로 노르웨이였어요. 그래서 29개국 나라. 그래서 한국은 어떤가에 대한 그런 의문을 이제 보여줬고요. 자, 두 번째로, 어, 이런 가사 노동의 격차가 또 하나 재밌는 사실이 한국에서 이제 선생님은 90년, 2000년, 2010년 이렇게 10년마다 비교를 했는데 저희 그 통계청에서는 5년마다 비교를 했어요. 5년마다 비교를 해서 어떻게 또 가사 노동 시간이 달라지고 있는가 그거를 조사했는데 저도 좀 깜짝 놀랐습니다. 
여성은 가사 노동이 줄어들고 있죠. 예, 여러 가지 그 편리한 뭐, 그 기계? 가전제품 그런 영향으로 훨씬 줄어들고 남편은 조금 늘어들고 있는데 그 숫자가 4분, 3분이에요. 저 노동자는 10분도 안 되는 거예요. 그래서 그게 이런 선생님도 이 페이퍼에서 굉장히 슬로울리 이런 감소가 일어났다고 하지 하는데 이게 정체 시대로 들어왔구나 하는 저는 생각이 들었거든요. 한국은 이미. 그래서 중국은 앞으로 이런 경향이 남녀 간의 격차가 정말 지속적으로 감소될 것인지 선생님의 의견이 어떠신가 한번 좀 물어 궁금해서 그거 한번 질문 드리고 싶습니다. 예. 그 다음에 이제 마지막으로 또 하나 선생님이 그 마지막 결론이 뭐였냐면은 그 자원 이론이 타당했다 어, 조사를 해보니까 그래서 너무 경제적인 측면을 많이 강조를 하셨어요. 근데 우리가 그 린다 제, 제를리 교수 그 말씀하신 것처럼 그 권력에 대한 인지, 성 역할 인지 이런 것도 참 중요하고 또그 정서적인 욕구라든가 사회적인 욕구가 충족되느냐에 따라서 가사 노동 시간이 달라지거든요. 만일에 내가 요리하는 것이 좋다 그러면 가사 노동 시간이 좋아, 좋고, 그 다음에 사교적인 그런 분들은, 뭐, 저기, 친구들을 초대해서 요리를 할 수도 있고, 또, 사랑하는 사람을 위해서 또 요리를 할 수도 있고. 그래서 어떤 경제적인 측면, 직업을 가지고 있느냐, 돈을 많이 버느냐가 뿐만 아니라, 더 중요한 다른 요소가 분명히 있다는 거를 조금 더 말씀드리고 싶고, 선생님의 그, 루 교수님의 페이퍼에서는 맨 마지막에 언급은 하셨어요. 추후 연구에서는 이런, 가정이 가진 정서적인 기능 이런 것들도 똑같이 다루어야 된다고 강조는 하셨지만 너무 짧아가지고 저도 한번더 강조해드리고 싶고 또 시간이 있으시면 답변도 부탁드리고요 시간이 짧다면 이거는 생략해 주셔도 되고요 마지막 질문은 저는 이제 전공이 사회복지 중에서 이제 노인 가족에 대해서 관심이 많아요 그래서 그 가족 내에서 여성의 지위가 이렇게 급속도로 증가 올라가고 있는데 여성, 여성의 변화 속도는 굉장히 빠르거든요. 근데 남성이 그 변화 속도에 따라가지 못했을 경우에 가족 간, 그러니까 부부 간의 갈등이 심해지고 그거가 가정폭력으로 이어지고 이혼으로 또 이어지고 있고 하는데 중국은 어떠한가? 너무 궁금합니다. 그리고 또 선생님이 도시와 농촌의 차이를 비교했기 때문에 이런 그 가정폭력이나 이혼이 도시와 농촌의 차이가 있는지 이것도 좀 궁금하시죠? 예, 제가 대신 질문했습니다. 예, 이상입니다. 
because the younger generation spend less than the old cohort. That's contribute the declining in domestic time. Uh, but however, I, I think Irish uh, Chinese husband will spend more than four minutes uh, compared with Koreans, I think, on the Irish. Uh, I'm not sure uh, uh, exactly what is uh, age. And also, uh, it will be uh, the life uh, circle will be impact, uh, impact uh, affect uh, the patterns. And because if you have two or three kids, you have to uh, work with your wife uh, in terms of domestic uh, uh, laborers. And the second, uh, I think uh, this importance, uh, because based on the resource series, it's important uh, uh, to uh, look at the authority of resource husband and the wife they have. Uh, that is uh, based on the, the human capital because uh, what kind of education level. And also, it depends on the social capital because what kind of family background. Whether you come from rural or your family come uh, high economic or political uh, index. But you are right. Emotion value, capital, will be a fact. Because I, I'm not sure uh, in Korea, but in China, the divorce rate increased. Uh, uh, no, sorry, increased drastically uh, in recently every year. But mainly uh, for the age group, which age group is dominant for the divorce, will be like 30, 35 to 49. Those age group almost like 60%. Uh, so uh, that means uh, you have to look at the life circles because they were not divorced immediately after marriage. Although that some, they don't case, don't, don't have case and then uh, divorce. But majorities, 35 to 49, that means they may have small case. Or maybe the kids go to the university. So everybody, uh, every time uh, when uh, China in June, because June was an important, uh, uh, the early June was an important uh, date for Chinese uh, parents. That's a uh, national university entry in that. And after in that, the divorce rate a little high because they think. Uh, before the kids go to school, they will not divorce. They want to click, and they want to. Uh, they have a high demand for their children to be go to a good school, like a Korea to go to a Seoul, Yonsei, or Korea. But out the college in them, they probably divorce, divorce because nothing relate the children higher educations. So uh, that could be a. Uh, we have to look at the patterns uh, using the life circle uh, series to, to see what is uh, the factors, what is the pat patterns. So that's all my, my uh, respondent. Thank you.